Hello everyone, um, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I create and save patches in Ableton Live. So we'll start off by making a brand new sound. We'll drag a Tau synth plugin over here and create a sound. Let's add some chorus. Okay, that's sounding pretty good. Um, so we could save this as a preset inside the plugin itself. I know um, Omnisphere and Contact will allow you to do this as well and then we can recall this um, later um, and this will work for a simple sound um, but it kind of doesn't work so well if we want to add extra effects onto this so it sounds a little bit dry so we might want to add some reverb that sounds a bit better and then maybe some overdrive as well if we bring that down. okay that sounds pretty cool so now we want to save this um, and the way we can do that is through an instrument rack. Um, so we can manually create an instrument rack ourselves and then add sounds onto it, or from our sound we've just created, we can select them all, right click and say group. And this will create an instrument rack with what's called a chain with, these, um, with our instrument and two effects on it. And then we can rename this like my cool sound. And then we can drag this into our user library and that will create a preset that we can then create again in a future project and it will bring in all our settings and create an identical sound. So that's how we can um, use instrument racks to save um, different presets of instruments and effects together. Um, we can also use an instrument rack to um, layer different sounds. Um, so if I show you uh, my patches folder here, this is how I tend to organize um, my presets. So for example, in a pianos folder, I've got an acoustic and electric piano section. So maybe we want to layer um, an acoustic piano with a pad, for example. So we can create a new instrument rack, find our piano. drag that into the instrument rack. That's now created our piano. We can see it here. And then let's find a pad. Got a Juno pad here, drag that as well. And what this done has done is to create um, an instrument rack here made up of two other instrument racks that we uh, dragged in that we already created before. And now these sounds will play together, which is quite nice. Um, another cool feature of an instrument rack is that you can um, assign, for example, different areas where you want the sounds to play. So we can make it so the piano, um, if I drag this end here, won't play up to a certain point on the keyboard. We can also do that with velocity, so it'll only play if you play the keys with a certain weight, for example. And the final thing that's cool about um, instrument racks is the chain selector. And what this allows us to do is to basically toggle through different sounds or groups of sounds to play a single time. We can control this um, either by dragging this orange bar here or more uh, helpfully uh, through a MIDI controller. So if I drag out um, this range over here, let's put that there and drag this guy out. And then if I move this orange bar around, you can see at the moment it's just playing the piano. If I move it here, we don't get anything. And if I move it over here, we get our pad. Um, if I right click here, I can say distribute ranges equally and that'll just um, make sure there's no gaps and all the, all the different selections are equal. And then we can map this to a MIDI controller. And if I move this controller, you can see how it's changing between the patches. So over here, I got a piano, maybe over here, and I get a pad. So this would allow us to maybe change between different patches for um, different songs in a set, or maybe we've got some uh, like three or four different pianos and we want to be able to easily switch between them. Um, so I hope that's given you um, some ideas of how you can use instrument racks to create sounds, um, organize them into like a patches folder, layer those together, um, save them as new patches, and then um, use them in your live sets. Thanks for watching.